it's really interesting. I think that app that uh, you were researching, that, that last one you're showing us, us is, fun, is fantastic. I mean, have you tried that out on some guinea pigs yet? Well, so there we didn't do a user study. That is a prototype and was actually class work, which then became sort of a research project. And I'm really amazed at also what, what students are doing. And that is also something I really like about visualization, that at the moment there are many young researchers and young students doing all these work. And I think this is um, interesting because they are a bit more maybe used to all this new technology, having smartphones and so on. So that is something what I really like also to highlight here. Yeah, so you can actually put up your recommendations for any visit or whatever it is. But it must also be quite a hard thing to actually censor. So you're not getting some nutters putting up some information you might not want up there. How, how, I mean, that, that's obviously part of your next stage of research. Well, yes. So uh, at this time, again, as it was uh, as a prototype, so you have to actually also uh, have an app installed so to record or track all your traces. And then if you share that, at the moment we didn't um, think about how maybe people are misbehaving or misusing this application. It is much more for a common space yeah. where people are behaving. I think it's fascinating. Um, just the way that the way that we even have apps to find places or to you know whether you want to have the little videos or whatever it mm. is in the simple ones that are available now mm. so you do so many things when you're researching and coming up with ideas with your students I mean, what's your everyday what do you do on an everyday basis well typically uh, researching is also about coming up with ideas so that is uh, what we are doing in the group also but i mean part of it uh, what i didn't show is also the let's say hard work of um, getting the data and so the all the technological side or the computer science side of um, harvesting the data of, of bringing it together of aggregating it all the statistics and so on so this is also the part I didn't show mm. which is also of course a lots and lots of work but then in the end the design of it makes much more fun oh yeah absolutely okay anybody got any questions there for Till hello uh, Graham Smith I'm an urban designer and CTC uh, counselor I I'm fascinated by the maps and the the, the different changes over time. But one of the things that continually um, I find difficult is that if I ride a bicycle, I know how much um, advantage it gives me. If I have a folding bicycle, I know even more how much advantage it gives me for, to go from home to station to London to, to destination. And I'm still waiting for the first kind of modeling that enables the, the efficiency that I know uh, the bicycle offers me to be pictured where I live in Oxfordshire, the man in charge of transport, cannot conceive that anybody could do three miles on a bicycle. Uh, so there's, there's a huge amount of need to overcome uh, conservatism, I suppose. Yeah, I'm absolutely agreeing. So, I mean, uh, what we are trying to do here is not showing maybe, let's say, the efficiency or the perfect uh, comparison between two transport modes, but we are trying to give a, a user experience, a, a playful approach to this. And this might also then help bringing together more people to other transport modes, because if it is yeah. fun, if it's a nice yeah. way of doing that, and not just maybe statistics, let's say, or efficiency percentages, then it might be an another good approach. And that's what we try to do here. And that's live, isn't it? That would be live, so you could see if there's a jams, traffic jams, or if there are train mm. delays, you'd actually be able to so ideally look into that. So the isoscope um, visualization, where we show these bubbly spaces mm. and, and spheres, um, uh, shapes, this is not live. So this is an aggregation mm. of the last weeks, mm. meaning this doesn't help you to plan your travel route. It doesn't help you to now know at 10 a.m. next morning mm. there is a traffic jam, because that would be prediction, yeah. that would be yeah. modeling. This year shows historical data combined with real-time data to give an average, to give an impression of that area. For example, now you can see in a dwelling area probably, in little streets, the traffic congestion doesn't change so much over time. But in an etory, in a main road on this, uh, in the city center, there it does. So this helps you to give this kind of impression or this kind of knowledge about a city. But it must be a very useful tool for planning new cities, for example, and transport systems, knowing the amount of people that are going to be working and living in certain areas. You can actually help to predict, what, well, predict so that, so that people might design differently because of that knowledge. I'm very happy to have urban planners using these tools. So we are typically aiming for the public, more for communicating, for conveying specific ideas. But also we learn, and as I mentioned in the Life Singapore project, that the experts were also using it mm. and combining that with their prior knowledge. So yes, I'm very open if yes. there are many urban planners. There's one more question from the guy just sitting in front of the last guy. 
I'm uh, Anders Jensen from uh, Bristol University. Uh, one of the first talks in the morning talked about the 2050 vision, so very kind of large, long scales of uh, projections. And you are very much kind of second by second dynamics. Uh, how can you see this kind of work through the you know, kind of very fine times can be linked to the real long term strategic uh, developments, so basically feed into those decision making processes? Well, really just on a, on a general level that if you encourage the, the public or citizens of a city to reflect on these kind of issues, they might get more informed and they start participating in the discourse. But the visualization itself at the moment in this case, is, or in these cases I showed you, there is not really so much like about them modeling the future. Well, that's fascinating. Well, listen, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Please put your hands together for Till. Thanks, Till. Fab.